So a little bit of a more in-depth look of the Wokomatic garden. So first you have several different trick types. You remember you have to tell them what the arms are, well actually what the FK arms are, the first bones of the FK chain, and the last bones of the IK chain on the legs and your center bone. In, in this case it's the torso, not the hip, but anyways. Um, you have blend rig, which is Pablo Bosa's excellent rig. You have this one, Cookie Flex rig. You have also for make human, but you can easily define yours by saying which which bone in your armature should go there. And you can save it and load it, just these five values. So in this case, I'm going to use Flex rig and I'm going to set it. Oh, by the way, you can change the, the duration of the cycle, but you have to update it. Uh, you, you can only use this number once at the beginning after it doesn't work. So I'm going to leave it as is. Um, so I'm going to set the automatic. Now the idea is that in a regular work, this, your your torso, your hip, should uh, should do something more or less like this, like going up and then down and then up and then down and your leg may be up and down maybe at a different rhythm not at the same time so the idea is that these empties have for example if we look at the C location it has two modifiers on it a sign function which makes it uh, wobble see that the, the, the amplitude of this sign is very small very small, you can see it will go there, so minus 0.3 and the minus is, uh, helps um, sort of feed it with the other curves at the same time. So now these modifiers have certain things you can change, like the amplitude, how up or down it goes, right? Uh, in respect the the sine phase multiplier has been set to fit your your cycle range so you shouldn't be you shouldn't mess with that and now you have this uh, polynomial generator and uh, what we're going to do is only change this value this makes the graph go up or down which means instead of wobbling at this height it could wobble at this height right now all this information is actually in this panel in this panel, for example, for the hip, we have its C location, the amplitude of the wobbly, and the coefficients of the generator. So we should only deal with the coefficient that it's a constant, and not with the one that is multiplied by the variable, because otherwise it would just increase through time. Uh, we can also make a, a rotation around the X axis, which as you can see is this axis, so that means that the torso moves more swings back and forth and also around the uh, sorry uh, goes like this and also around the set allocation it goes like this uh, then we can change for example in the x location if you see the the foot goes out and then comes back in we can change those parameters here and it has coefficients so that we can make it go more like that way or this way we have the same for the for the other foot in its y location how how back and and forward it goes and in its z location how much it goes up now this minimum it's a limit constraint which helps uh, make the feeling that there's a ground back here uh, finally uh, okay you have things for the drivers which are basically just a rotation around this axis now once you, you you can actually play with these things while the animation is running and right now as I told you my frame per second are really low but without recording it uh, it allows you to easily manipulate so for example if I change the amplitude respecting the sign uh, then now we can see that it jumps a lot more right so as I told you once you have the animation you desire you simply come here and click insert keyframes this will um, make keyframes now if you put step zero it will do it at the m at the critical points of the function that means or something more or less like if it's like this it will make a keyframe here here 
here and here. Uh, you can change it to put it every one, f one frame or every two frames as you wish. Um, now after you bake it, of course the, the more steps you need, the, the smaller the step, if it's not zero, it will take longer. Um, after you bake it, hide the, the child of constraints to see the animation work properly. Okay, uh, that's all. I hope you enjoy. Bye.